station of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to our man, Al in Homo Sasa. What's going on, brother? It's, isn't it wonderful? I went ahead and invested in your uh, Tiger Dollars, <laughs> and I went ahead and got the gold report <laughs> for a year, and, and also your, morning, your, your call letter and stuff like that. That and I got over fifty percent return in one day, not counting uh, everything else. But I just want to thank you. Tom's not perfect, but he tells you how to put your stops in and keeps your losses small. You can take your small losses, but then all of a sudden you'll be like Dave Ruth and you'll hit a home run. I mean, a big home run. Yeah. And put the money in your pocket. Okay, I mean, brother. I You're awesome, man. Thank you. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Take a look at one of our four agreements. Love is responsible for its actions. Everything you think, everything you do has a consequence. And you will experience the consequences of your actions in one way or another. All human beings are completely responsible for their actions, even if they don't want to be. My advice, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials trading down 1137. You get the NASDAQ off uh, 542. We get the S&Ps off 159. Uh, that is a downdraft, folks, inside the NASDAQ of 4.5% inside the S&P's 4% uh, inside the Dow Industrials, 3.5%. Gold, gold contract flat at 18.19 an ounce. You got silver down 26 cents, $21.49 an ounce. Light sweet crude off $3.44 at 108.96. Notes and bonds, a 10 year note is up 17 ticks, trading 119.12. 30 year up a full point and a half at 140.07 and King Dollar just won't give it up, man. King Dollar is up 448 ticks, Trading at 103.808. Euro is at 104. Yen is at 128. And the British pound is at 123 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. Okay, so intraday out here, folks, this is what you have. We get a bad market, no doubt, but guess what? You have an, an, another ABC structure down intraday. So right now we're at 3923. You're gonna see this, I'll set this up for you. You can see how this works. So you got this ABC here, yeah, A point is the 3974. The B point is down there at the 3927. Your C point is up there at the 3942. You broke it with volume. That sets up, uh, where am I? I got so many different ABCs here, it's amazing. 3884, now we can get the 3884 today. That's how this is setting up. You got a weak market, you broke the B point, you broke it on volume. Okay, so that's the first part. Second part, let's get to where we think this may go. So what you have out here today is this. The SPY's down $16, you're at 392. Your B point on a potential ABC down is 385.15. If you're a bull, what you'd love to see is this hit the low today. Because right at this particular point, you got 71 million shares. Bottom line, that's not big volume. You're coming into 125 million. What I expect we're going to see is that you're not going to get down to this 385. What you're going to see is you, it's a down market. I expect this ABC structure on the way down could very well hit before four o'clock and then the market wakes up in the morning folks and just blows this number away that's in your spy we take a look at the ndx 100 the three q's same type of setup what you have with the nq's right now they're down 14 and a half dollars you're at 281 you get 58 million shares traded the highs of the lows is uh 295.75 you know You've listened to me many times, you know that 
when you get into a bar, the top of that bar is 295, the bottom's 284, we're four points into it, we're going to the bottom of the bar. I don't expect we'll get there today. If we did get there today, that, that'd be good. Bottom line, I don't expect it though. I expect what you're gonna see is that we're gonna get lower, because the Qs have, uh, where am I? The NQs, let me pull the NQs up, because they're in an ABC structure down too, intraday, NQ. Okay, so the NQs, where did I put this one? Here we go, okay. So we're at 11,960. It did the same deal. Bottom line, you can see this bar at uh, 2.30. Check out the B point. That sets up 11,822. And right now, you're 11,951. So bottom line is that uh, intraday, that's what we have. Now, if we go over to the queues and we take a look at the queues, what we have is that you're gonna see that the B point of a potential ABC down is laying out here at that 284. You know, you're gonna need volume of 120 million. Right now, you only got 60, so I don't expect we're gonna get it out here today. You, what I do expect we're gonna see is that you are going to get a, a surge of volume at the close, you know? And that, see, the, the thing that's wild about this, so watch how volume works, folks, is that and this is subtle, but I've been doing this for so long that I just want you to understand something here. So picture that we get a big bounce. Well, if we get a big bounce, you're gonna have a vol high volume low. If we don't get a bounce, you're gonna have more people selling at the close. So this is kind of where this sits when you've been down all day. That's, that's how this baby is set up. Let's go to Earl and Seminole. Hey Earl, what's going on? Hey Tom, how you doing? Looks like a wild ride coming. It certainly is a wild ride. There's no doubt about that, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd like to have you take a look at uh, where you think Bitcoin might be headed. XBT. So do you trade Bitcoin? Do you own Bitcoin? What do you do? I'm shorted in an ETF. I say, okay. So right now, Bitcoin broke. You got, you're at... 29,000 right now. I suspect, you, well, let me put this on a weekly. Okay, so 31,000. Yeah, I mean, this looks like, this is going after its low again. I mean, the, the, the spike low we had last week was 29,000, uh, no, 25,422. So my take is that it will get down there. You break that and then, then then you're talking about real action. Then you're talking about like 18,900, you break that, and then you're back down to like 11,800. So it's serious business, man, on the way down. Yeah, that's what it looked like to me. I got one more question, uh, not off the stocks, but where do you see the real estate valuation going? Does it look like we're headed into a recession? Yes, yes. There's no, there's, the, I mean, what happens is that you know, you've heard me say this many times. What happens, folks, in the whole economy is that take a pencil and put it in your hand and then take a piece of paper and write your name. That's the structure that we're in. Whatever your signature's worth, and right now, because interest rates are going higher, all our signatures, I don't care how much money you get, are worth less money. So that means we're going down. of booming inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. 
Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow's off 1166. Nasdaq's off uh, 561. S&P's are off 162. We're talking to Earl from Seminole. We're basically talking about what our signature's worth. And, you know, Earl, I, that's the bottom line, that, you know, when interest rates go up, the bottom line is that banks are going to lend less money. Our signature's worth less money. So that tells me that there's going to be a reset in everything. I'm talking about everything. You know, you name it, there's a reset because we're all worth less money. You know? Yeah, I agree. I was just wondering what you thought, like, uh, well, like let's say real estate value is something, let's say it's at a half million. Uh, can you look for a 20, 30, 40% maybe retracement? What do you see? Yeah, so this is a great question, man. And so pictures, folks, anecdotally, right? Hey, let me tell you a couple stories. There. Because anecdotally, you know, I build a lot in St. Pete. I'm consolidating it in a monster way, which, you know, all your tigers and tigers just know that because that's what I did. And I've got offered like two projects with permits in place. And I said to the first guy, this is about two months ago. I says, I says, uh, you know, why aren't you doing it? Oh, I'm too busy. Second guy said, you know, I'm just worried. This morning, right, I get three different phone calls offering me more. It, we're in it. And the hard part is that you just don't know, Earl. That's what it comes down to. Because what we don't know is that, as that old saying goes, we don't know who is naked in the market and over leveraged. Um, and, you know, there can be a lot more than we think. Well, you know, it, this is, to me, if this is not a 2007, 2008. I'm looking, I'm saying, I'm figuring like 20%. And we'll see how long that lasts, you know? So, but listen, it can go, you know, in different markets, it can be a different animal. It really depends on, you know, the character of the market. Something that, so there's, there's two wild cards here. The first one is how many people actually got into the Airbnb business, okay? As to, you know, how many do they have are they over their head? Now, that would be on the downside. But then the upside is, do these funds that has, still have quite a bit of money, are they going to come in and try to stay, not stabilize it on purpose, but trying to get more houses? Do you know what I'm saying? So Yeah, I get calls every day to buy my property. Yeah, well, every that's... Every day. The, yeah, no, we, everyone does. That's, 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 that's normal. Yeah. That's, that's, they're flippers that want to buy a property for nothing. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. Anyway, well, Cook and Brother, mm -hmm. have a great one, man. Be have a safe one. Be blessed, Tommy. Thank you. I appreciate that. I love that saying. You know that, that saying, folks, okay? 
have a blessed day. You know, St. Pete, a lot of people use it. Man, what a cool saying that is, man, right? It really is. Let's go to Phil in Puerto Rico. Hey, Phil, what's going on, brother? Cooking, how's it going, Tom? You're getting in that water every day. Yes, sir. <laughs> Wonderful. I'm doing the same, living the dream, same as you. I know, man. It's crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wanted to take a look at Overstock. I was looking for a target. If it breaks a little lower, Okay, so let's take a look. Take a swing. You get Overstock.com, the low's 27, the high's 111. This has been on a one-way deal. Let's pull this up and put this on a four-year. Okay, so. Oh, look at this. So you broke down. 29, we're under that. Yeah, listen, I, I, I just still hang tight, Phil. You know, yeah, let me put this uh, line up so you can see this line. See that tight, right there with volume? That's, that's $20.85. Let it get down there, at least. Right, see, right, see what it goes around 20, okay. Yeah. And, Sounds you know, you great. need a rejection of price at that, at that point. If you don't get a rejection of price, you know, the bottom line is that, you know, that thing can go low. Go you know, again. because if you, right. if you were just listening to Dave's program, there's no doubt what we have out here today, folks, is this. Is that you're coming down. We we're coming down with light volume. There's no doubt about that. But you need a rejection of price simultaneously. The reason that I'm, that I'm basically saying we're going to go lower is that intraday, I always go with the ABC. And the ABC, you know, bottom line, we already broke the B point of an intraday ABC is down. So that's telling me we're going to go down. And as I explained a little bit earlier, if we were going to get a bounce, the volume would explode. And if we're going to go down, the volume is going to explode. So to me, at the end of this day, we're going to have volume. That's how this shakes out. Cooking, brother. I appreciate it, Tom. Have a great one. Okay, have man. Have one. a great one. Have a safe one. So, man, we got an even 1,200 here. Okay, so let's go, there's not going to be any, uh, let's go inside the NDX first. So we look at the NDX, the strength versus the weakness. We got Dollar Tree is off 15%, Costco's off 12 and a half. Old Dominion, oh, let's look at this one. Now this gets interesting. Okay, so this is the trucking business, folks, right? When we, we pulled up truckies a, a while back, too, and... What happens here is that, see, the, my take is this. We've been in this since last November, folks. Last November to me is when this thing started. And anyway, so you get Old Dominion, okay? Old Dominion, you know, big trucking firm, man, huge trucking firm, okay? I've used them many times, okay? Um, the low is today, 236. The high is December 7th, okay? 373. So you're talking about, my God, 77, $140 has gone down since December. This is gonna be an ABC down, but let's just see how we're kicking it here. So put it on a weekly. Okay, so you're breaking. Mm, that's interesting, you're breaking B point. You're not gonna have the volume though, 2.6 million. No, you're not gonna, oh, Wednesday. Oh yeah, we could have the, uh, have the volume. Okay, so we can. That's 328. 257. We got what? 43, 53, 63, 71. That gets you 220. Or 236. Yeah, this is going to the next level. 220 is on the agenda. And and this one here, you can what you also can see is this. You can see how we came off the high. That's coming off the high with volume. You know, you come off the high with volume, folks. The bottom line is that what I've found is that you go a lot lower. You know, stocks that come off volumes, off highs with volume, it just, man, I mean, you just, what happens is that they're bigger corrections than you think they're going to be. That's what, that's what ends up happening. That's how they basically shake out. The, uh, we got to go look at Twitter. <laughs> you know, Musk, I suspect what's going to end up happening, they're going to have to fight over the, the billion dollar, um, you know, breakup fee because you know none of us really actually know what's inside of that uh first contract but you know 
as I said a little bit earlier, like a couple weeks ago, if Musk hadn't bid $54, Twitter would be a $20 stock. And right now, let's see, 73, let me look at this. This would be a mind blower, 40 bucks. Okay, so pitch this. What Twitter, what t Twitter can set up, folks, is Twitter can set up um, an ABC structure down to $14. And that would make sense, because I felt it was a $20 stock like a week after he made that attempt, and he probably did too, because, you know, the bottom line is that, you know, everything is lower. So it's like, why would you pay something higher? Well, bottom line, we'll see. Stay right there, folks, come right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, the Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even and give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's off uh, 1247. You get the NASDAQ off 586. S&Ps are off 173. Yeah, so what I'm going to do right now, you guys get a pencil handy um, and write some of these numbers down. Because I did all the numbers for the ABC structures. These are potential ABC structures, folks. Okay, they, they, if you have the out of time in the trade, you know they're going to take the B point out. They're going to take it out with volume. So let's do the NASDAQ first. Because I don't think, I don't expect any of these to hit the B point till tomorrow. That's the bottom line. So the composite's at 11,405. That projection is 10,628. So now let's go look at where 10,628 is. Okay, so. 10,900 at the highs, 10,000, what is that? That's 12,000, 10,000, yeah. So this is where we're going, man. That's, you know, we've we'll, we'll brought this up a few times. So your next leg down basically is bringing it down to 
probably 10,500. When you get that close, that'd be the leg. That brings you back to, uh, what's that, August of 2020. So that's the composite. Now, NDX. We take the NDX. Okay, so we're at 11,917. This projection. Okay, it's 10,698. Yep, same deal. Yep, we're going to these lows, man. This is the next place that it ought to make sense. We traded around at least five or six weeks. Okay, NDX. Dow. Let's pull the Dow up. Dow's laying out at uh, 31,406. This is saying ABC down 27,353. Let's see where this is. That Oh, hold it. I did that right. One second. 3,000. Thirty-five. I'm going to do that Dow again. Don't, don't take that number yet. Okay, SPX and the Qs. So the cash SPX. Okay, so the cash SPX is 35.25. And that's 36.51. So we put this back. Yeah, this is heavy. See, this is, this is what's getting heavy here, folks, is that the 36.51 is bringing you back to just above, you know, the February before we crashed, you know, at the uh, COVID low for a minute, right, uh, was 34, 33.93. This is bringing us back to the top of it. So, man, you know, my, my take here is that, particularly after seeing um, Walmart and Target, you know, you have companies like that that are pulling that healthy markets or corrections don't have equities open down $50 that are not tech stocks. Just doesn't, it, you know, it, it, it just doesn't happen. You know, it happens. But it happens in bear markets. That's, that's my point. Because then the sell is just everywhere. That's how it goes. So let's go take a look at, uh, I know we want to take a look at them, J.P. Morgan. Because what does happen, as you keep getting to lower price, this is where, okay, that's not bad. This is, this is definitely not bad. It's only down 250. They're at 119. But watch this. This, this is actually what I just, this has already got smoked. Yeah, look at this. See, it's already into it. This is, these are the types of clues that you, you really like to wrap your head around. So if we look at J.P. Morgan, the low in J.P. Morgan at the COVID low is, 70, is $76. The high of that low on a weekly basis is 97 Well, guess what? We're already digging into it. And look at this. This is an ABC down, too. One second. One no, let's do, no, it's not. Yeah, it's a small one. It's a small one. Let's see what that is. That's 143. Well, I guess it's not as small as I think. You know what's so weird is that these prices have moved so dramatically. That looked like a small one, but yet it's a, at 17.8 a to B. So 17, 27, 37, 17. God, you got, this is like insane. You got... What do you get it? Six. One. Oh, it's already. It, we're at 116. 116 is the A to B equals the C to D. So, yeah, there's. The, the, the part that's pretty intense here, folks, is not only that this market is down this dramatically. Now, let me show you that this is the. You have some fear out here today. You know, we talked about the tick and the trend. We're going to get our heads wrapped around this because the bottom line is that you can see minus 1608, the ticket, okay? So in that aspect, 
you know, is that right there? Yeah. So this was just hit the last 10 minute bar. Now that, that's a good downtick. That's what you're looking for. What we also have is the trend. This is what you need to get to the bottom too. The trend, see that trend at 2.45? That's what you want. That's what you need. And if we get two more days like this, that, that would basically put yourself, you know. So here, here are the three things, right? This is when you're coming into bottoms, what ends up happening is this. The five-day trend will basically get over 10. The tick index we've had, and we've had for quite some time, meaning that you keep coming down, you come down, and intraday you've had it. So we have that in place. Then, though, you need the rejection of lower price. You need all three of them. And what I've seen is that when you are looking at the trend, you want that for good bottoms, you want those that, well, yeah, you want that over 10. And it's really hard to get over 10. And you can tell, you know, I was talking about this last week, that unfortunately what ended up happening is that this came way back. You see this yesterday? Yesterday, that's like a bull market, a 0.46. On Friday, it was a 0.30. That, that doesn't, that, this is the, the, the deal, like when you, when you start really understanding what these figures actually mean, that's the last thing you want to see in a down market, is that it comes back so quick. And, you know, we had our Tigers Den, of course, which is a great setup. Um, bottom line, folks, is that, uh, you know, when you get markets like this, okay, most of the time what ends up happening is that you will hear no one, and I mean no one, saying that I'm going to buy this. That's what happens in bad markets. And... Yeah, that's just kind of how it goes. I mean, I'd love to basically, you know, think it's something different, but it's not. It's not. No matter, let's go look at Amazon. You know, I've always talked about how hot Amazon is always to buy, and it always is, man, because it looks like it's going to be the end of the world. Now, Amazon's only down $168, but you got to remember something. Amazon basically, you know, broke down, you know, you know, what, three weeks ago, right? You know? And now you're back. Look at this. This is it, man. Look at the, the high of the low of Amazon was 1957 in March of 2020. If you don't think the stocks are going back there, man, the, the best companies in the world are going back there. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? 
Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Dow. Dow Industrial is down 1146. You get the NASDAQ off uh, 534. S&Ps are off 158. Let's go take a look at some of the higher volume equities and see what we have out here. So you got uh, Advanced Micros off five bucks. You got Apple off eight and a half. Um, NVIDIA's off 11. Target's 54. Bank of America, 117. Tesla, 53. Go to Tesla for a second because uh, you can just imagine, you know, Elon, when how many how much stock he sold at twelve hundred and twelve twenty five? Think about that, folks. Okay, I mean that was the canary in the coal mine, also in a monster way. Now what Tesla's doing? I mean Tesla has already traded back to uh, let's see, December of twenty twenty, and this baby. Oh look at this! Hold it! This this broke. Yeah, it broke a swing. What volume? One twenty one. Oh, no, no. Yeah, versus 168. Okay, so, oh man, this is going to get interesting. So, okay, so watch this. Okay, so let's put this up. So, Tesla would have to get under 700 again. But if Tesla gets under 700, guess what, folks? You're talking a Tesla 200. And 193, look at this, man. 193 coming at you. This is going to be sick. There's, there's the high volume, last high volume bar. And so technically what I've just done here is just so you can see what I did, right? Technically what happens is this. When you break down, I'm taking the top of this, okay? If it's not an ABC down, there's a couple of different ways. These, these ones are pretty consistent too, by the way. When you have a large consolidation, you're going sideways, right? And you don't have volume at the highs, which Tesla does not, okay? And you just broke a swing with volume. Now, it saved itself. It came back on the other side. And it should because you can see when you're looking at Tesla how much support. Uh, and this support specifically is how many people bought Tesla between December 2020 going all the way over to May 2021. So those folks there are not in a losing position yet. Okay? Now, this gets underneath that level. Then... It can just break loose, man. And when it breaks loose, you know, you should get some support at the 502. So I can definitely see where you're, you're looking at the 500 to 502. There's no doubt about that. And this one here, though, when you get a market that that's bad, um, you know, that can get extended. That's, that's how it normally shakes out. And so, um, you know, the whole, the whole thing is bizarre, man. I mean, and he's going to be sitting pretty because he sold so many shares, you know, you know, Musk is a genius. But the bottom line, he's taken so many people south. Um, it's pretty intense, man. You know, it's he knew exactly what he's doing selling at 1250. I mean, who's kidding who? Billions of dollars. Make sure you get a couple billion stashed away. Right. You know, just in case, just in case. Yeah. So let's go look at the volumes out here and see what we have. So. Inside the NYSE right now, you're dealing with 704. Okay, so that's going to get into about 1.1. Nothing heavy, but that's an expansion of volume, no doubt. Inside the composite right now, you're laying out a 4.2. That'll do 5.2, 5.3. We go to the SPY. We take a look at the SPY. SPY is laying out at 
83. You know, yeah, we went higher yesterday with 63. You know, at 83. We're at 84 now. Bottom line, the SPY will throw in, the, the, the SPY will throw in 100 million shares. And what you have, that's, you've already dug into the bar at 395. So I expect what you're going to see out here tomorrow is that tomorrow what you are going to see is that we are going to go after the B point of an ABC structure down. And it couldn't be a worse time to do it, meaning that you have two days. <laughs> that's, that's intense, man. Um, you know, we take a look at the cues. Oh, the cues, one second. Okay, so the Qs are at 64. We did 62 yesterday. It's coming into same deal, man. You, okay, so the Qs, the high over the low is 295. You're at 290. So your probability goes much higher that you're going to go after the 284. And, you know, we'll see what kind of volume we got. You're going to need 120 million as you break or get into the, 180, uh, the 284 in order to have a confirmed ABC structure on the way down. So remember something that ABC structures, the way they work is that you, we're talking about ABC down. So you come down on volume, you go back up on light volume, you come down on volume, you know, that's, and you're gonna, when you take out the B point, you have to have higher volume than the B point. Something that, that to understand if you're not used to the ABCs is this. The A to B point, the first point down, is a straight line move. The, C, the B to C normally drives everyone crazy because it's all over the place. In a bad market, which we have, it only lasts a couple days. That's what, that's what we've, these ABC structures on the way down haven't lasted at all, meaning there's no counter trend bounce. And when you have that, it's a huge problem because what ends up happening then is that you have more power on the next leg down. And the next leg down, of course, is the... C to D. <coughs> and, you know, of course we have, uh, oh, is this a monthly option maturation too? Let me see this for a second. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, so hey, listen, man. So we have um, the weekly option expiration and the monthly op option, option expiration this Friday. So, Bottom line, folks, is that you better buckle up, man. This is not cool at all. You know, this is, yeah, <laughs> this is definitely not cool. This is some uh, destruction that's coming down the pike. Let's go over to the GDX. See what we got? Well, no, I know. We got to go to the dollar, man. The dollar just won't give it up. And if you heard Teddy Kegstack this morning on Tommy's show, and Teddy's a great analyst, folks, um, you know, the bottom line is that he, you know, he's thinking his dollar is going to go a lot higher. And what has happened, this is another one-day wonder from yesterday. So what ended up happening yesterday, it got back inside, you know, that 103,747. What ends up happening today? Jumps right outside it again. And when this jumps outside it, man, the bottom line is that you have 121 that is opened to get hit. And that will just throw wrenches in everything, man. I mean, you know, the more I'm, I'm looking at this market, I'm really thinking, you know, so the markets are always dynamic, always changing. Do you know what I mean? They're, they're, they're always different things that are hitting it. But at this particular point here, it's like, oh, the, uh, you know, this is something that is hitting that market, meaning the high dollar. Now, what happens is this. When it's a high dollar, of course, we can buy goods overseas a lot less money. That being said, though, what ends up happening is that because we're in a one world, you know, currency deal, okay, um, what happens is that it hurts earnings in a monster way. Because, of course, there's these larger companies make money a lot more than just in the United States. And so when you try to do the currency um, and, you know, the bottom line is that you're outside of the United States, it's a real problem. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is off uh, 1216, Nasdaq's off uh, 581, S&Ps are off 171. And this is, uh, I know there's only, uh, you know, 11 minutes left here, uh, folks, so, you know, Actually, six minutes, but you're going to see a little downdraft here again. They're going to, they're going to, they'll throw it at the futures market first. You know, when you get a day like this, the spikes are pretty brutal uh, coming into the close. So we'll see where this baby shakes out. And as I said, uh, you definitely want to watch these B points tomorrow. Because this is the cool thing about an ABC structure down or up, folks, okay, is that, you know, we're speculators okay so you know they don't always work but they're very consistent and you actually know what the price projection is before the before they get there so what i've found is this there's two different ways you can you can either if you're making money in them the bottom line is that you know where to take your money and you, you know they were really work well there or if you're in equities or in you know futures whatever you're in and you know what the ABC structure is, it doesn't mean it's gonna get there, but then you can look at the account and you can understand how much more money you're gonna lose or you're gonna win. And it's important to do that. And that's where I've seen that an ABC structure can help you in a dramatic way. Because when you have large ABC structures down, you should be asking yourself, can I take that heat and do I wanna take that heat? And most of the time what happens is this, you'll have the ABC structure, Let's say if it's down, you know what's going there. Well, you don't know. It's, the projection's there. And then 
you were going to sell, and then all of a sudden it gets there and you say, I can't believe that. You know, that will happen the first year, year and a half that you do this. A after you get them down, guess what? I don't screw with them at all. I mean, at all. It's like, because they've been consistent enough in my lifetime that it's like, okay, I don't care if it goes back up. I'm not going to take that heat on the way down because all of a sudden I have a dollar here. And then if it goes where it's supposed to, I have 70 cents. I'm saying, I want a dollar. I don't want 70 cents. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow, 9 o'clock. He knows where those B points are, folks. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Look at him, folks. <laughs>